What's cooking guys? Welcome back to another episode of A La Carte with Alex where I am helping you cook up quick, easy, and delicious food that you can make at home and impress the heck out of all your friends. And uh, this week I decided, you know, I found something at the store and I was so excited that they had it. And I'd been looking for it online as soon as I heard about it months ago and I've been trying so hard to find it but I finally found it in the store and I want to make it for you guys. And we're going to do a little, uh, taste test review and see how good or how bad it might be. And I haven't tried these yet, so uh, I'm gonna be going along that with you. But I found one of my favorite snacks is uh, Hot Cheetos and Cheetos, and I found their mac and cheese product in the store. And I'm so excited to try them out. We grabbed, uh, I went ahead and grabbed regular. I grabbed the Hot Cheeto, which I'm gonna actually test against Hot Cheetos that I have here. And then I have the jalapeno, uh, cheesy cheesy jalapeno flavor. So we're gonna try those out and I'm gonna make them just like the box says now. The box on all of these says uh, it takes two tablespoons of butter or margarine, six cups of water, and a fourth of a cup of milk. Now it doesn't say whole milk, it doesn't say anything about it being uh, like low fat, high fat. So I'm gonna use 2% which is what I have in the house. I also have uh, heavy whipping cream, but I think that might make it a little too creamy and since they don't specify I figure I would try um, You know just milk that most people would have which is either you know a skim 1% or 2% uh, Whole milk is a good option too if you want a richer flavor the richer in milk you go So if you go with like a heavy whipping cream versus like a whipping cream or even like a skim milk You're gonna get a lot more of that creamy flavor from it And I think you're gonna get that with just most mac and cheese, but we're gonna use 2% today and we're gonna go ahead and try that out. So I'm excited and uh, let's see, is there anything else in here? It's got the directions. We're not gonna microwave it. Uh, I'm gonna make it on the stove. Uh, you can microwave these if you want, apparently. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Let's see. So it looks like you can add <laughs> you can add hot Cheetos to this to really pump up the flavor. So I might try that after initial one and just kind of see how it goes. But uh, I'm excited. It took me forever to finally find these. But uh, yeah, so. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's get into that montage. And while that's going on, let's read some Cheetos facts and uh, just see see what we can learn about Cheetos. And then we're gonna do a little taste test. So let's get cooking. Oh, and uh, I'd also like to point out that um, Cheetos didn't sponsor me to do this. Pepsi didn't sponsor me. I mean, I would love it if you guys wanna go ahead and sponsor me, but um, this is just a taste test. I saw them and I was just so curious I had to try it. So uh, that's, that's why I did this. I'm not getting paid for it. Maybe later on, but not right now. So let's go ahead and get started cooking up our mac and cheese. So we're gonna take a couple of our pans. We're gonna fill it up with six cups of water. Then we'll take our second pan and fill that up with six cups of water. And then I'm starting to run out of pans, so let's bust out the big boy. There we go. Okay, so now that those are done, we're gonna go ahead and let these, all three of these come to boil. We're gonna cook them separately. Uh, you could do it in one big pan if you're making all three, but since we're doing a, a taste with this, we're gonna follow the directions and cook them separately. But, uh, now normally we would add salt to our water, but since we are making mac and cheese from a box, and uh, it probably already has sodium in it, let's see, it's already got, uh, let's see, so if we make the box as prepared, uh, it's already got 730 milligrams of salt in here, um, and we don't need that for the pasta. We're gonna have plenty of flavor. Uh, from our spice mixture that's probably gonna come out of this thing. So go ahead and just boil up some water, add your pasta. Once that's done, then we'll go ahead and uh, prepare it the other way. So let it go ahead, let these come to a boil, and we'll move on. Okay, so there we go. So we got one, two, and three different pastas going. I got my spatula for making sure it doesn't boil over. And we're gonna go ahead and just keep cooking these up. And once they're done, we will mix in our different cheesy powders and see how this goes. So. Uh, just hang on, don't, don't leave yet. So now that we have our water cooking, we're going to go ahead and we're going to prepare our mac and cheese packets. Now as I pull them out, you can kind of see here on the label, right, right here, right here, beautiful. 
So you can kind of see here on the label, it says uh, Chester Cheetos Secret Seasoning. And uh, as I pull them out of the box, I start to notice that uh, all of the packages here are identical. So I don't want to mix those up. Um, I might write on them what they are just so I don't <laughs> get them confused with other ones and throw off this whole thing. But we're going to go ahead and prepare them in our container bowls here. We're going to be using butter, milk, like it says on the box. And yeah, that's about it. So once uh, you put it all together, I like to prepare it separately and then pour it over the top. And then, uh, so I'll go ahead and prepare that right now for you. All right, on to our Cheetos facts. So Cheetos, uh, it was formerly uh, stylized a little bit differently until 1998 when it uh, combined into the one word before there was a, a hyphen between the E and the T. It's actually part of the Fruto Lay uh, company, which is a subsidiary of Pepsi. So if you enjoy Pepsi with your hot Cheetos, then that's probably why, same company. Uh, they were actually invented in 1948 uh, and started distribution here in the US. 2010, Cheetos ranked as one of the top selling uh, cheese puffs there is in the market in the US. So that means that uh, all the cheese balls, all the different kind of puffy cheese uh, concoctions there are out there, this one sold the best. Uh, and it sold all across the world. That includes Australia, Austria, China, France, Greece, uh, Ireland, Iran, Japan, uh, Mexico, the Netherlands, New Zealand, what up to New Zealand, what what? Uh, North America, South America, Taiwan, the UK, Spain, and even Turkey and the Ukraine. So this is really a global uh, selling product, which is kind of neat. Okay, so weird fact. Uh, Cheetos are produced in 22 countries and they come in 50 flavors. And some of those weird flavors that kind of come are a fizzy Pepsi, so you got uh, Pepsi flavored Cheetos, you have ketchup flavored, strawberry, peanut butter, uh, and Japanese steak. Now that's a, uh, just kind of strange in my, my book, but you know, each to their own. If that's tasty, enjoy. So we have Texas to thank for the invention of the Cheeto. The first crunchy Cheetos were invented in 1948 in San Antonio. So thank you, Texas, for that. And uh, baked Cheetos actually only became available in the US market in 2004. So before that, you had your crunchy, delicious, uh, regular ones that weren't lower in calories and saturated fats. So the Flamin' Hot Cheeto wasn't released until the early 1990s, which is kind of crazy to think about that it's been along, around that long. So that's all the facts we have. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below of any other Cheetos or Hot Cheeto facts that you guys might know. Okay, so now that we have those all now that we have those all mixed together, let's wait for our pasta to cook and then we'll go ahead and blend these in and then uh, we'll go ahead and we will do our taste test. So hang right back and we'll get that cooking for you. Oh yeah, that, that smells like Cheetos, for sure. Oh yeah, you guys know which one this one is, for sure. Look at that rich velvety color that that's coming in. Okay, so now that we're done cooking, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna taste test and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our pastas. But before we get into that, I'm actually gonna talk a little bit about the pasta. I'm actually very impressed with uh, Cheetos and how they actually used their pasta, like the type of pasta they used. So yeah, look at that PepsiCo right there. It's right on the box. <laughs> but um, yeah, so instead of using like a spaghetti or a wheat noodle, or even uh, like these ones, which are uh, whole wheat pasta spaghetti. But instead of using those, or even like a macaroni, so you can kind of see the little tiny macaroni right there. But instead of using those, they actually used 
this little spiral shape uh, pasta, which I am blanking at right now with what that's called. Give me one second. Okay, so I looked it up and it's, uh, I believe it's called Fasili. I'll go ahead and uh, put the, what it looks like all blown up. Uh, it's kind of similar to a, a rotoni. So instead of being so smooshed down, it's a little bit stretched out. But what's really smart that they use this one as opposed to like the elbow mac and cheese or one of the other types of pastas are, is that it has all these little crevices in here where all the, the sauce can kind of soak in. So if you guys are making mac and cheese, this is a great option um, for any of your saucy dishes like an Alfredo, anything that you want to really hold on to that like sauce, like it's not just a butter sauce, like a creamy Alfredo, uh, very smooth red sauce, this would be a great choice as well. Um, it just hangs on to the sauce perfectly, whereas like a spaghetti or like a wheat pasta, you can see that there's no crevices for it to really hang on to it. Even the mac macaroni, the elbow mac and cheese, like that, uh, the mac and cheese, even the elbow here, it's kind of like, it's very smooth, there's just not a lot of crevices for your sauce to hang on to, but, so that's a great option for them to use that one. So props to you guys and doing your homework on there. But okay, so now we're ready to do our taste test. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get started with our traditional um, mac, or, mac and cheese, mac and cheese flavor, Cheetos flavor. We're gonna do the bold and cheesy. <laughs> so we're gonna do that one. Um, when we do hot, hot Cheetos, I got this. And then in between, I'm gonna go ahead and use milk and water to kind of cleanse the palate like a fancy boy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start with this one because that way I'm not gonna get distracted with the heat or any other spice that might come into it and kind of see if it tastes very similar to a uh, like an actual like Cheeto itself. But just to kind of give you guys a heads up, so when I made this, I used different forks to mix. I cleaned my spatula while I was tossing them around so that way wouldn't have any of the hot Cheeto going into the regular Cheeto or any of the jalapeno going into the spicy and kind of throwing off that flavor. And then I put it back in the bowl that I originally mixed it in. So then that way I get that full robust flavor that came in the packet since that's how they said to make it, is to put it all together and do it. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and try a bite. Yeah, too much. Okay, that's not bad. That is, that is definitely very cheesy. Oh, definitely. It's definitely bold and cheesy flavor, that's for sure. So, oh no, not bad. It's got more of a kick of a flavor than regular, like mac and cheese would. It definitely has that like Cheeto taste to it. It's that like big punch of like cheese flavoring that you're looking for. So this is actually a pretty good option if you wanna have, you know, instead of eating your crunchy Cheetos or having your puff Cheetos, uh, if you wanna have it in mac and cheese or your kids are obsessed with it, this is a this is a great option. So, I mean, that's actually, for a start, that's not bad. I was, uh, I'm pleasantly happy with that one. So next up, we have our cheesy jalapeno. So I figured that'd be a nice transition going from cheese jalapeno, and then move on to our final one, the one that you're probably waiting for, which is the uh, flaming Hot Cheeto, where these little guys are gonna come in there. Okay, so, same thing, mixed it back up in the same bowl. Look at that, it's got a nice uh, orange color. You can see that it's it's a paler orange than our cheesy, bold and cheesy flavor. So, you can kinda see a little bit there. This is the jalapeno, this is the regular cheese. Let's go ahead and give this one a try. Okay. So it's got some heat. It's got some cheese. You can actually see there's little uh, there's little flakes of what does it maybe be like dehydrated jalapeno or you know some sort of jalapeno flavor in there. Is there actually a real jalapeno in here? It does. It has dried jalapeno peppers in here. That's a uh, that's impressive. Good job. Good job, Cheetos. That's. It's got a nice little kick to it. So if you want something that's cheesy, but has a nice spice to it, it's not overpowering. I will say this one's pretty good. Not bad. Good job, Cheetos. So last, but definitely not least, is our flaming Hot uh, flavor. 
So this one, you can tell that is a, that is a bold red, just like it's out of the package. And uh, so it kind of looks, actually with the pasta bean in there and other, it looks pretty much the same if you can kind of. So let's go ahead and dive into this one. This one, oh man, this is, this one's gonna stay in my mouth for sure. Okay. Definitely has that flaming Hot kick to it. Definitely, let's go ahead and try. Okay, not bad. It's got a good crunch to it. Get back to our flaming Hot, hot version. You know, that's pretty good. I mean, I was afraid that they're gonna be drastically different, but honestly, they're pretty much the same. It tastes just like the, the ones that you got out of the bag, and these are this is a fresh bag that I got these out of. So I'm impressed, uh, Cheetos. They did, you guys did a really good job on this one. And I mean, I could see like if you want to crunch with your mac and cheese, like I usually like to, is take this and pour some of these in there. I mean, that's usually what I like to do with my mac and cheese is I add hot Cheetos. I crumble them up and put them directly into it. And you got a little height, um, a little heat to it. You got a nice spice going on and uh, you got some crunch along with there. But that's, I'm, I'm very impressed. Those are all really, really tasty. But uh, I wonder if I take my regular and I go ahead and get a couple of those in there. Okay, that's um, that's kind of nice. That's super cheesy. You get your uh, your hot Cheeto in there that you like. So I mean, if you're looking for a crunch with there, I'd probably say this one. I feel like this one might be a little too much to add into there. And then if you really want to kick it up, do there. But shoot, all in all, those are all very impressive. I, I thought they were really good. Um, I don't know if I would eat them on a regular basis just because of how strong the flavors are and I, I really like regular mac and cheese but I mean if you love hot Cheetos or you love the jalapeno Cheetos or regular Cheetos and you want it in a mac and cheese form uh, this is this is a good way to go so um, all in all I was very impressed with these so good job Cheetos and uh, if you guys love your Cheeto flavor uh, any one of these three would be a good way to go so uh, that's my review very tasty pretty delicious and definitely quick and uh, yeah, so I, I don't know what else to say to this other than, you know, go ahead and give these a try for yourself and see if you really like them. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know which one of these three flavors are your favorites. Go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe so you're never missing out on a video that I'm coming out with next. And uh, let me know if you like these kind of reviews that I did with the different foods. And uh, we'll kind of maybe continue going on with those. But um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you stay full and stay safe, guys. Have a great day.